Yeah, what's happening everybody? Just wanted to jump on, do a quick video, and uh, show off some awesome books. So, um, last video I had talked about some uh, important things for beginners in the comic book collecting industry, um, in this great hobby of ours. And, uh, you know, I started thinking and talking with another uh, fellow collector. He reminded me of one very important tip for all those who are newer collectors, even more experienced collectors that may accidentally have a, this issue. Everybody's done it at least one time in their collecting uh, uh, days. So what I'm referring to is on your books, everybody bags and boards their books, obviously, and to keep them safe. And on your, your bags, you get them taped down. When you tape them down, you got to open them up eventually to look over your books, get them signed, whatever. So, just always, always remember, pull that, either cut it clean and just retape it, because tape costs you next to nothing, man. So, the accident that can occur is flipping this up, leaving the tape intact, removing the book, and then... The tape sticking to the cover and the older books man it sticks like that to the covers and unless you know what you're doing to get it off safely you're gonna have color loss it's gonna peel the cover right off of your book um, and then you got a heartbreak on your hands where you're gonna be going damn it what did I do and that one hurts let me tell you if you do that to a pricey book you can definitely feel that one for a while so cut the tape, or when you open it up, fold it over so it's grabbing onto the bag and not the book. Just safety first when handling these guys. So, um, wanted to show off some more awesome books, obviously. Uh, things, things that uh, I have that I have duplicates of, or they're just freaking awesome books and you know they're just fun to show off so i'll just start out with this one since it's the one i pulled out of the box so we've got giant size x-men number one giant size x-men number one um here's a sweet book this is the uh civil war this is amazing spider-man number 529 it's the uh civil war goodness there uh with the iron spider um just awesome looking suit there and submariner number eight you've got the classic thing versus namor or submariner cover there strange tales issue number 137 that classic sweetness there um had this one laying on my table here uh you've got tales to astonish number 96 Awesome cover. I'm trying to keep the glare off these things. Another sweet Submariner. Submariner number 10. First appearance of Barracuda. As you can see over my shoulder here, we've got Incredible Hulk number 181. Some classic there. There's Incredible Hulk number 180. So, first appearance, for, or first cameo and first full appearance of Wolverine, obviously. And you've got uh, Sandman issue number one. So, first appearance right there. That's a great book to have. Dang piece of tape grabbing onto a plastic here. Alright. Avengers number 59, first appearance of Yellow Jacket. That's always awesome, right? Put these back up here. Uh, saga number one, signed copy there. Always, always sweet to see. Uh, 
Tales to Astonish number 94. Classic cover. So when you guys are buying, um, just always remember that you can ask people for a deal. Um, I say it all the time. If you're going to a comic book shop and you see something you really like, don't worry about it. Just ask the uh, ask the people that work there, hey, would you sell that for this price? Whatever. They'll take it, usually. I mean, there's some things they don't have uh, a lot of wiggle room on or whatever. Maybe they paid a lot for it, something like that, and they're trying to get a little bit out of it. Um, but other things, they usually will say, yeah, I can do 10% off your whole purchase, whatever. You know, so never feel like you have to... Uh, Pay the asking price. I mean, you can always get a deal. Maybe not on the one in particular you're looking at, but something. So just don't feel like you have to uh, pass up that chance to maybe just ask for a deal. Because a lot of places will do it. So just remember that when you're out there collecting and buying up stuff, guys. Help yourselves out. Because like I said before, this hobby can get away from you in a hurry when you're over over buying up a ton of stuff i mean hell i went and uh hit up three shops the other day and completely drained my paypal account because i just started buying and buying and buying and i always do that i'll buy up a ton of stuff um just because i love i love what i'm looking at so it's like boom i gotta have that and then before i know it the stack is giant and i'm going Okay, that's going to be a little bit pricey. <laughs> so, uh, Adventure Comics number 433. You've got uh, Spectre on the, fur on the front there looking all awesome. Beautiful copy here. High grade, really freaking bright and amazing colors still on this book. Here's another one. Adventure Comics uh, number 434. Same thing, man. Beautiful comic. High grade copy. Bright, sharp colors. Beautiful, beautiful book. And yet again, number 431, same type of thing. Bright colors. And that's important to you guys as well. When you're looking at buying your comic books, make sure that you're checking over the, uh, the color of the book. If you're seeing color fades and stuff like that, just remember that's going to drop down the grade a little bit on your book. So... The brighter and uh, more colorful the book is, and you can tell it's not faded and things like that, the higher the grade can get. So just remember those kind of things. Adventure Comics number 432. Another bright, beautiful copy. Here's a Showcase Presents Power Girl, issue number 97. Awesome cover there. Everybody loves Power Girl, right? So that's pretty much all I'm going to show off today on my comics because that's a, a lot of awesomeness there. I've got just tons and tons of stuff to show off, obviously, so I'd be here for weeks. But it's, it's fun to show off that kind of stuff, you know? The other day I showed off um, some of my Garbage Pell Kids, my Funkos from Series 2. And uh, I'm going to show off the whole series because I have the whole set. I'll do it two at a time. So here's uh, Eerie Eric, you know, werewolf boy. And he's got his little bone with him and everything. And you can actually remove the bones. So that was pretty cool, you know. Eerie Eric. And then we've got um, Split Kit is this guy here. And he's got his half... You know, half and half, looking all crazy with the safety pin through his cheek and everything. So, that's pretty badass, right? Um, so, those are pretty awesome. If you're looking for those, if you're looking for the Funkos for GPK, hit up your GameStop. Uh, GameStop actually carries them. And if you were to buy a full case of them, you can actually get them... Um, get a full set if you buy a, a box which has 12 of them in a box so just remember that the other thing that I told you guys about here a while back one of my videos was the fact that they were re-releasing 
um, the toy Mad Balls. And they started carrying these again and releasing them, which, if you'll remember, they carried the Mad Balls, uh, the original series back in the day, and they go for a good amount of money, actually, if you find any of the originals. So, if you're a toy collector and you like the older stuff, like I do, then you got to pick these up because they're awesome. They have these minis. Uh, this one here, uh, I believe, is a... Uh, what do they call him? Uh, Screaming Mimi is, uh, I believe, this guy's name. Yeah, Screaming Mimi. And, uh, you know, essentially a baseball with a crazy face there and that's some craziness on the back. But what's cool about these is are, they're the minis and they really are awesome they they look way closer to the originals than the regular full-size ones that they started doing um because you can get the mad balls at target now and uh like i said the the orig the uh, full-size original ones unlike these minis they look more cartoony so i'm not a huge fan of them I'll probably get a set just because of what they are. They're awesome. Um, but, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. So, uh, here's the classic Skull Face. Uh, he's all badass. Looking all crazy on the backside there. And these are, they're like a foam type ball is what they are. So, they're kind of squishy, obviously. So, that's cool. And then, um... You can actually get Skull Face in an ultra rare glow, uh, glow in the dark one, which is awesome. I, I kind of want to have that one. Uh, you got old Horn Head here. Looking awesome. Crazy. So that's cool, you know. Old Cyclops looking dude. And then finally got here's old slobulus I gotta hold him right here there's old slobulus there like an ultra crazy his eyeball hanging out and stuff so you know you gotta love that right just looks all kinds of jacked up but yeah, I, I figured I'd show those off because uh, I know there's a lot of guys out there like me, guys and gals, that love to collect the older toys as well. So those are kind of things that you'd want to check out. So, you know, lucky number of the day, seven. Uh, but, yeah, so the definitely grab those things and check them out. If you're into the old school toys, that's something to have. But uh, just remember, guys, when you're collecting stuff, Pace yourself, figure out things that you have excess of, get with other collectors, make trades, help yourselves out. Because right now, uh, gaming is super hot, so if you have any old games that you're not playing anymore, work out trades with each other. You know, jump on the uh, Facebook groups and different things like that, and uh, hit each other up, you know. I've jumped on tons of sports card groups, and actually traded some sports cards for some comic books before. Uh, I've done that quite a few times, actually. And I've traded people uh, gaming stuff or for other toys. Uh, it, it just depends on what excess I have, and I always work it out to where I can get something that I'm looking for because it is overwhelming at times and you just have to enjoy it. It's all about the fun. It's all about enjoying what you're doing and trying to get your kids involved. I mean, I've got my kids, you know, my son, he loves everything. I mean, man, when I kick the bucket, that boy is going to be so damn happy. He, uh, he's already laid claim to pretty much everything. My little girl, she's like, eh, you know, she gets into it a little bit, but She's not super into it, but the funny thing with her is she will definitely uh, go hardcore and she, man, she'll go around the house like acting like Batman and 
and she she knows the themes from uh, like Star Wars. She can actually do the uh, Imperial Imperial March. She'll do that. Just break out with it, and uh, she does the whole Batman and. Man, it's awesome seeing them grow up and love that stuff just as much as we do, right? Um, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, yeah, guys, uh, just remember, enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy the fun and uh, check things out. And I'm wearing my and Sold It shirt tonight. And this is a reflection of my live auctions on uh, Facebook that I do. Uh Shoot me a friend's request. You can check me out on there. It's uh, James O'Brien, you know. And I do live comic book auctions, and there's tons of fun. Books like I showed off earlier, all those books will probably end up in an auction. Um, just because I love to jo uh, just put them up and have fun with them and let everybody get some new books that they haven't had before. Or that they've been eyeballing forever ever and ever. And uh, it's a way that I can do that. So check out that fun. Definitely see you guys around again. I'll be posting up another video real soon. Thanks for always checking it out. And have an awesome, awesome day. Peace out.